Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name's Justin. So today I'm gonna to show you how to turn an ugly basement like this and get really nice overhead drum footage shots like this right here. So step one is your carpeting. I am not using the real carpeting of this room. This is the real carpeting right here. And I think this pattern looks super ugly on you know camera. So I went to Lowe's and bought a bunch of these rugs. Uh, you can buy them for about 25 bucks each. You'll need a number of them to cover the drum set and a few squares beyond that if you wanna have the camera a little bit farther away. But to me, it's worth it. And you can get them in different colors. The next thing is lighting. So because I need this to be brightly lit in order for my camera to have a low ISO to get you know less grain in the footage, I'm throwing a lot of lights at this drum set. I've got these two LED panels. Um, th these are GVMs and the model number is 480LS. I got two of those, one with this you know fancy you know pop-up diffuser. I use this for the talking head footage because it makes your face look nice. If you just shine this directly at your face, it'll be really, really harsh and it'll make you look super ugly and your face will look shiny. But if you have a diffuser, all of a sudden, it makes a giant difference. I only have one of them though, so I just used a shopping bag on the next one. And believe it or not, it still does work if, if you need something in, the, in a pinch. Over here, I've got a couple of work lights that you can buy at Lowe's on a stand that I bought from Amazon just to get them elevated. I just needed these for the extra light. Ideally, I would just have two more of these stands with these LED panels though. Or uh, buy something from Aperture that's just really, really bright and you won't need quite as many of them. Now to separate the top of the drums from the floor and give a nice contrast with a cool look, I have these LED lights. These are RB9s. They're not that expensive. I think they're like 80 bucks each on Amazon. I got one here and over there. That one is clamped onto that light stand. The clamp costs about 12 bucks on Amazon and I highly recommend it. By the way, you can use an app to change it from green to yellow to white to whatever you want it to be. So elevate it a little bit and put it a little farther back and that way you'll get even coverage across the floor. Now let's talk about how to get your camera high up off the ground. There's a couple of different options that you have. So first of all, let's talk about GoPros. So right here, I have this GoPro clamp. If you got a GoPro camera, it goes right here, and then you can clamp this on whatever you want. Here's the janky solution that I used to have over here. Ceiling is super ugly, but that's what basements are. I clamped this directly to one of those uh, heating pipes right there, and the GoPro literally just dangled from the ceiling pipe. And that kind of worked, uh, to be honest, but I didn't like it. GoPro footage inside a house is not great because GoPros suck at low light. They are horrible. They're great for snowboarding because there's lots of light and maybe mountain biking, but inside GoPros are not the answer. So instead, I'm using a Canon ADD camera, just a standard camera you can buy for used off eBay for not that much money, and it's on a C stand. C stands get incredibly high. This is maybe 10 feet off the ground right now, and I'm not even using this extension. I'm just using the top extension. Uh, C stands do cost like 180 bucks and up. This one is from newer, I believe that's the brand name. But to be honest, it's definitely worth picking one of these up if you want an overhead shot. It's so much better than sort of strapping a GoPro to the ceiling, it just, it's just way more professional. So that's how we get the camera up really high. And then there's a ball mount that I also bought separately off Amazon that connects to the end of it and that gets me the exact right angle that I need. Now you might be wondering about this cable. So that connects to a monitor that I have right over here so I can see exactly what's in frame and what's in focus. So if I sit down on the drum set, I can see what's going on. I bought this monitor for like 30 bucks from Goodwill and it was a great uh, thing to buy because you can really see what's going on. I can see what cymbals are in focus, what drums are in focus, all that good stuff. I think buying a long extension cable for your HDMI cable, go into your camera and then into a monitor that's like whatever, 20 or 30 inches across, is a great thing to do. Just be aware that every single camera has a different kind of HDMI uh, input on it. So this one, I don't know exactly what kind it was, but I had to buy an adapter because it's not a regular HDMI input. I had to buy this uh, black adapter cable that then went into a 
female to male HDMI cable that then plugs into this Dell uh, computer monitor. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here to get this shot and make everything happen. All right, so that's your overview. Hope you find this helpful. Have an awesome day and I'll see you all in a few.